Hi everyone, welcome to the third installment of Physics is Easy, very easy. It's been a while since the last installment but hopefully you'll learn something interesting with this lesson. At the end of the last video I said we were going to learn next about uh, powers of 10 and exponents. But before we get to that, maybe we, you were uh, wondering how to solve an equation with more than one unknown or variable. Well, I'm going to show you how to do it but not in the conventional way or using things like a matrix or with a half but answer where only a portion of one of the variables can be discovered. Probably you were taught that it is mathematically impossible to know both variables of uh, an equation with two unknowns like this equation here. So we have 2a plus 5b equals 20. So as you can see, this is an equation that, uh, you know, uh, conventionally it's impossible to solve without uh, any more info, you know. So if you believe that way, then watch some magic, if you will. Okay, here we have two unknowns, one multiplied by 2 and the other multiplied by 5, that gives 20, okay. Clearly, we can simply invert one of the unknowns to one side so we can get the result of it at the other side. Mm. So, first things first, let's solve each unknown one at a time. So, we can sell one of them first or make it zero so we can work only with one, like this. So, we have zero plus 5b equals 20. Obviously, that is not correct, but later on we'll know why is that and we'll work around it. Okay, so the other uh, variable is gone for now, but we will relate to it later. Now, let's invert the number, or the, you know, the only uh, number left, uh, you know, the 5 from 5b, on the left side to the right side where we are keeping all the numbers. So then we get 0 plus b equals 20 divided by 5, which gives 0 plus b equals 4. So now it seems we are at the dead end, since uh, b plus 0 is obviously not 4. But what else we have to work with here? There are no more numbers for reference. But aha, we still have a reference here. It's not only the numbers that is showing us an equation. We can see that it's an equation, or we can see that it's an addition of two numbers that equals something else. So in this case, in this case, so an unknown number two times. Voila. So we invert this number to the other side and we get b equals 4 divided by 2 or b equals 2 2. Don't believe it? Okay, so keep watching. So let's do the same for the other unknown. Then 2a plus 0 equals 20. So we have the 2 from 2a to divide the result 20 and we have a plus 0 equals 20 divided by 2 which is 10 and then we see that 10 is half of the unknown number and we have a equals 5 so now let's plug in the numbers to our equation here and prove that we are right so um, 2 times 5 plus 5 times 2 equals, guess what, 20. Here we go, we solve both the variables using nothing but the information in our equation here. Maybe you're wondering that this was a, an arranged coincidence, but I'm going to give you uh, other examples to prove the concept, and of course you can try uh, your own example, and uh, if you want, post them in the comments. Okay. Uh, let's have another example, but with one interesting alteration. This time, we'll have a minus operation in the equation. Here, 8a plus 6b minus 7c equals 36. This time, we have a subtraction in the equation. So let's see how this works out. 0 plus 0 minus 7c equals 36. 
equals 36. So 0 plus 0 minus C equals 36 divided by 7. C then equals 5.1428, uh, etc., etc. Okay, but hold on. This time, the unknown number is 2 times minus 1 time, which is, of course, 1. In this example, 5.1428, etc., is actually 1 time the unknown number, or they are the same. So this time, the unknown number is actually equal to the result, since uh, 2 times uh, minus 1 time equals 1. And uh, 5.14 divided by 1 obviously is uh, the same number. Okay, let's do the other unknowns now. So uh, moving on to the next unknown and canceling the other two, we have 0 plus 6b minus 0 equals 36. Keep in mind that this is a pseudo uh, equation as, as for now. We'll complete it later. So this equation obviously is not uh, valid. So then moving the 6 from the 6b to the other side, we have 0 plus b minus 0 equals 36 uh, divided by 6, which equals to b equals 6. And this time, uh, we don't have to alter uh, the 6 in any way because, you know, 2 times uh, minus 1 time equals 1. So b equals 6 because 6 divided by 1 is 1, obviously. Figuring out the last unknown, we have 8a plus 0 minus 0 equals 36. Uh, then moving the 8 from 8a to the other side, we have a plus 0 minus 0 equals 36 divided by 8, which gives us a equals 4.5. Okay, now we plug in the numbers. And so, 8 times 4.5 plus 6 times 6 minus 7 times 5.1428, etc., etc., equals 36. Voila. You know, uh, this uh, method actually comes from a very, very simple concept. Let me give you uh, one, uh, one final example, one very simple final example to get the concept home. Say with four unknowns, we will have A plus B plus C plus D equals 21. Of course, each of the unknowns will be 21 divided four times, which is A plus B plus C plus D equals 21 divided by 4, because we have 4 times here. And, of course, 21 divided by 4 equals 5.25. And so, A equals B, B equals C, C equals D, and D equals 5.25. Like 5.25 plus 5.25 plus 5.25 plus 5.25 equals 21. It's uh, 5.25 times 4. Say a very 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 simple example. A plus B equals 16. When uh, we do one of the unknowns and we get uh, 0 plus B equals 16, B is the same as 1 times B. So when we invert that 1, obviously uh, 0, uh, the result is 0 times B equals 16 divided by 1, which yeah is 16. Uh, and then we counted the numbers that are added, uh, 1, 2, which means 16 is divided by 2. Or uh, the variables or unknowns are like just the result divided by 2, if we have two unknowns on the other side. Alright, so now for the next installment, we will uh, figure how to do this, but uh, with the equations that contain multiplications and divisions. And then finally, uh, we will move on to powers of 10 and exponents. Stay tuned. Uh, by the way, uh, show uh, this to your teachers and have fun. And say that super thin guy showed you.